Why are you wearing a beanie, first of all? Because my hair's... It's hot. My hair's like this right now. So I'm going to go get a haircut. Don't that's you get be, hot? It's me after. Uh, no, because this is the thin beanie. By oh. Flagner Fair. But I'm doing some cleaning today. As you can see behind me. It still looks dirty. So yeah, I'm just kind of throwing things around until it looks right. But then also putting our pool back together. But the main thing is we're taking care of our uh, egg smell today, hopefully. I and mean, that's in the water heater. We're going to go do that right now. It actually feels better. <laughs> Oh, and then I'm gonna put the lights back up. Yeah, so basically this is the uh, the usual water heater that most people have. Uh, but a lot of people will have like a plug right here that they can pull out. Uh, that's what I've seen online. But pretty much with this system, all you have to do is just turn it off. Right here, this is the, like it auto fills. Oh, I didn't know uh, I'm like splashing around there. water. <laughs> yeah, so you turn that off. And then from there, it stops filling up this tank. And what you do is you release the water right here just by pulling this up. And usually I kind of stand to the side. And so then you just flick that up and then water comes out. And now you can actually unhook this, but you have to have one of these. And this is the part that I haven't done yet. Ever. It's not gonna like shoot out or anything, is I it? I hope not. Nah, pressure's already open. Ooh. So that's it. There's stuff coming out. Oh, there's Ewey. Stuff. That's the drain oh, right gosh. there. Oh gosh. So that's draining the water heater tank. Yeah, so it's completely draining. And you can kind of get that egg smell still, so that's been our issue. Yeah, but that's not, usually that'll be kind of like crusty, right? Yeah, like so I, some I just need to wipe that, that down. Wipe off. Yeah, there's some there. You can see it's it's mainly getting right around here. It's starting to wear that down. But the rest of it looks okay, so it's still good. I'm still going to use this. All right. Well, okay. <laughs> um, How much water was in it? So there was a lot of water in this thing. So uh, obviously our first time doing this. <laughs> I know, it's like right in your face. Here we go, right here. Okay. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, and these things are pretty cheap. These are your anode rods. Uh, they just kind of pull sediment towards this uh, whenever it's in your tank in here. I didn't and know so, that. Yeah, and so that's actually how this works and just uh, it just helps out the system overall. Uh, every time you open this and just check this, make sure it's not completely worn away. And eventually this will just be Hold like, it it'll be real tiny. Whenever you do change this, there's also this little section right here. Uh, people will put like, it's like athletic tape, kind of that plasticky feeling tape around there. So whenever they screw it in, it's watertight. And you don't want to over, like over tighten it because what it'll do is hurt these threads that are actually in here. Uh, again, you'll just have leaks. I guess the echo sound that I'm hearing means that it's empty. <laughs> so I basically just put this all back in. How do you know whenever you've tightened it enough but not too much? I don't know. Sit. Stay. All right, let's go eat. Jeez Louise. Matt got a haircut. Got a haircut. Does it look good? Didn't know you were filming. <laughs> Buzz is eating dinner. Brady's eating dinner. Burgundy's eating dinner. Or like, Second, third, fourth, and fifth snack after breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We keep a lot of our recycling here until we take it over to the recycling bin. So I know that looks really good. You already done? Oh, Buzz. Oh, Buzz. It's huge. That is a big rabbit. Big jack rabbit. Hey! Hey! So yeah, this week's been a pretty crazy week for both of us. Uh, we've both been just trying to get back on track as far as uh, our business goes. Uh, it's been about two months since uh, the leg break, uh, since it's thrown us off and done everything. So we're really just doing a lot of things with our family, uh, just trying to hang out you know, around Austin and San Marcos as much as possible. Just do a few new things that we haven't done, like this these popcorn tofus right here. Tofu popcorn, so good. Uh, hanging out with, uh, again, just family, watching Game of Thrones is one big thing that we've been doing. This is a uh, little footage of our niece just trying to roll over. Uh, she does it a few times here and uh, Yeah, you yeah. guys haven't seen her yet. She's really, really cute. She's two months old yep. now. Her name's Lillian or Lily. Or Pi Pi. Uh, or Pi Pi is a little. <laughs> um, we were trying to get her to roll over here, so. 
Without a face plant. Oh. Without a face plant. Oh. There it is. Yay! Is it? No. Oh, baby. It's not childish. Yeah, it should be a thumbnail for a YouTube video. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a lot of fun uh, lately. Just, uh, yeah, again, just staying as busy as possible. Uh, really just trying to get comfortable with where we are and uh, kind of test my leg out a little bit more, too, as well. You know, you'll see me walking more with a cane. Uh, <laughs> hopefully here in a month I'll be, uh, I won't even have to have a cane or anything. And I can just maybe even walk around and hold this little girl. <laughs> Be able to mess with her <laughs> eyebrows on the go. <laughs> She's so grumpy. <laughs> yeah. Just like her dad. Yeah, but yeah, we're just going to try to start moving around a little bit more. Uh, hopefully go on a trip in the next week or two. Uh, my birthday's coming up here very soon. Hopefully do a little trip for that. Uh, just get back on the road. And uh, yeah, um, here's actually uh, one of my clients, uh, Silo Glass out of Wimberley. Uh, I definitely suggest if you're stopping through Wimberley or going through Texas just uh, stop on in they're a really nice couple um, just love their work uh, they just love being there and showing people around they do tours really really cool yeah they did a full tour for us and some of the pieces are just amazing and and they tell you a little bit more about how they create these and it makes you appreciate it even more I had no idea what went into these type of like glass the type of glass work i guess is the way to say it and especially this next like these next few shots here uh just it's amazing the art artistry that is really into this um but yeah it's it's just amazing yep so we will see you guys for the outro in just a second buzz what's that smell What's that smell? Brady, come here. Like, like what? <laughs> <laughs> He's a new dog. Brady got a bath. You are so shiny. Will you turn on that light? It's gonna start glowing. What's the um the song from? Moana. Shiny. It's him right now. <laughs> Buzz, <laughs> chill. Him as he sits. Oh my gosh, Brady. I sorry that Buzz Buzz doesn't like your smell. Buzz is very offended. So Buzz. soft. Buzz, just leave him alone. Leave him alone. Go. Go. He might be self-conscious about it. Good I don't job. Think so. <laughs> Matt, what's your favorite thing about living in the RV? Not the one I live with. Um, stretching. What's your favorite thing? I think it's the bed. <laughs> Yeah, I. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like your breakfast? The aesthetics are nice. <laughs> Makes me disturbed. What? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Let me see my banana and pizza play. <laughs> Alright anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I know it was a little all over the place. I'm honestly not really feeling up to editing right now, so I just want to get this video <laughs> finished and put it out. But part of that is actually, it gives me an idea. Sort of, I want some feedback from y'all too as well. Uh, do y'all like seeing, like, you know, that, that Wimberley, hello, <laughs> hello, uh, the silo glass out of Wimberley. Um, if we start throwing that kind of, you know, content into our videos when we're on, on the go, you know, moving around Texas or Oklahoma or Arizona or wherever we end up going, you saw this would be here all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's going on. Oh, man. Oh. But yeah, if you want that kind of content, I mean, uh, you want to actually see, like, things to do in certain areas, uh, please let me know, because then we can actually start, you know, making really strategic stops. Well, I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah. It's part of a travel channel. We just haven't been traveling lately. So yeah, well, I guess we'll start doing that then. Well, that's our hope. Yeah. We'll start meeting more people and let you know about it. Like, I wanted to give you, like, a full biography. What? What's, what's wrong with you? I don't mean to. You can stay in the car. I'm gonna have fun and I'm gonna show you what we do. What I do, I guess. Well, we have to take a trip first. Um, Next week. But we'll keep you guys updated on that. And then Friday's video is gonna be a prep update for me. So it's gonna be more fitnessy, but I do wanna talk about um, bodybuilding preps, what that actually entails, because a lot of you guys probably don't know what it means, like how it differs from an actual, just a diet. Um, so I'm gonna talk about that, show some training footage. And I actually created a little intro for the prep series. 
and I'm kind of excited about, so I'm going to show him in just a second, and then, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, again, I know it was a little more random, make sure and hit the thumbs up, and leave some, leave some love below. Or whatever you want to leave below. Just leave it below. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Well, have fun out there. Bye.